Back in 1995, Paul Rudd was pretty <laughs> clueless. You're funny. But he got it together, starring in Friends and films like Anchorman, Afternoon Delight. The 40-Year-Old Virgin, Knocked Up, and This Is 40. Best birthday ever! One of the sexiest and funniest guys alive, famously pranking Conan for years by promoting all of his films with the same wrong clip. You promised me you're not going to show it again. In 2015, he answered Marvel's call to join the superhero realm as Ant-Man. Now he's back, facing a new threat in the quantum realm, in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. You're not the one with the hammer. That's Thor. We get confused a lot. Similar body types. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, joining us now from Sydney, please welcome Paul Rudd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, be honest, Paul. When your agent called you up to say, you're going to be a superhero in a Marvel movie, how did you feel when you found out that it was Ant-Man? <laughs> Well, I was happy because I was all, I, somebody actually wanted me to do something as a, <laughs> just an actor desperate for approval. Yeah. Uh, and somebody to say, you're good enough. Uh, I was elated. It didn't matter what it was. I wasn't familiar with Ant-Man, really. Um, but I loved the idea that I was going to get to do something I'd never done before. And I get to work with Marvel. There was going to be a superhero, and I was going to get to, uh, you know, talk to some ants, which was uh, a new experience. <laughs> and you joked that on the day they shot your abs in the last Ant Man, your lunch was one almond nut. Um, has the catering improved on the sequels? The uh, you know I've moved. I've actually upped my almond intake. Um, <laughs> On a good day, I'm getting 12. <laughs> <laughs> I hear the almond nut is good for your fertility. That's what um, I was led to believe. Is it really? Yeah. Mm. Well, I've uh, I've got two children, so <laughs> there you go. Who am I to uh, say otherwise, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Plus, you're the sexiest man alive, 2021. So you can't really let yourself go now, can you? Well, mm -hmm. it, you know, truthfully, uh, Chris Evans just won. The, he's he's now taking the, the throne, so I can I can co totally let myself go. I mean, <laughs> it's done now. Do, do you have a sash or something though that you can put on to remind people that that was your year? Ye oh yeah, 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 mm. I, and I do. Um, I still have business cards and I still have uh, <laughs> a couple of reminders. Just so, just you know, just so you know. It, it happened once. I heard you were still filming in January. That seems to be cutting it a bit fine. You know, this is the thing about Marvel. They are real sticklers. And uh, I think much like a painter that is working on a painting and says, it's done. Like, actually, what if we do this? You know, this is a very common thing that they do where they're kind of doing all the posts and they're putting in uh, effects and then they think, oh, you know what would be cool? We should try and do this. We still have some time. Let's see. If it works, great. If it doesn't, no big deal. But they do kind of take swings all the way up until it comes out. It's kind of incredible. I've never known another studio to do, to do that. Paul mm. Rudd, yes, I've just written down, Marvel are real sticklers. That uh, <laughs> quote could come back That's to bite a... you, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can attribute that to Mark Ruffalo if you want. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul, you're um, famous, some Kiwis might not know this, you're famous for your prank on Conan, Conan O'Brien, where you would play a clip from the film Mac and Me instead of the clip you were supposed to be promoting for your current film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that 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 dumb bit went on for about <laughs> 17 years or yeah. so. 18 <laughs> years. I'm not sure exactly. I mean, maybe longer. But it always seemed that... I always thought it was artificial that actors go on talk shows and they talk about, you know, they're joking around and then you realize, like, oh, they're just selling their stuff. It seems so kind of insincere. <laughs> So why do I have to show a clip of the movie I'm supposed to be promoting? Why don't I just show a clip from something else? And that was the weirdest clip that I could find. <laughs> and, and so it was, you know, I never anticipated that it would go 20 years, but it did. Yeah. Amazing, amazing longevity. Uh, but on the topic of your movie, do we have a clip from Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania? Can we? We actually do. I, I actually brought one. If yep. you'd like to see it, yeah. If, if I cut to it, if you want to cut to it right now, you'll see it's weird. I mean, you have to imagine 
what <laughs> quantum realm it's a weird environment <laughs> y- you know it's it's down deep but it, it actually almost looks like you're outside you'll see what i mean roll the clip okay <laughs> We've been rutted. <laughs> I feel very spoiled, actually. I feel very special. Paul, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. I, uh, I greatly enjoyed this. <laughs> Let's do it again uh, next year for some other garbage I'll be promoting. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Paul. Thank you. Uh, um, if you want to see the actual movie, not that one we saw the clip of, it's called Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, and it's in the cinemas on Thursday. <laughs>